Hey guys, um, it's been, it's been a day, it's been a week. It's Sunday of my first week being a real estate agent and honestly I've just been crying recently because it's tough, you know, and I've been recording all week, like just like the real estate related things, but I wanted to be real and honest with you guys. Um, and I felt like, you know, I haven't gotten back on and filmed the rest of my week or like the end of my week or whatnot. But and there's been good things and bad things and it's not necessarily bad things, but just the reality, you know. So I thought I'd just come on here and end this week and tell you the good and the bad. The bad, I would say, is, um, you know, when you get into this career, it's really exciting and you want to do your best. And and, you know, like I and you probably know, like I know, like I know I'm going to be an amazing real estate agent someday it's just gonna take time to reach the goals that i have for myself it takes time to build clients it takes time to build relationships it takes time from a um a representation agreement to a closing date you know like it all takes time um and this isn't like a normal job where you get paid hourly for the things you do or for the you know stuff the work you're putting in so that being said you know a lot of times you'll hear people say and i'll even say it you know to have savings um, saved up for when you're going to start being a real estate agent because you don't get paid. Well, for me, I DoorDash and Grubhub, that's what I was doing. I, I have like an investment business, but it hadn't brought in any money for since January. And it's now like almost September. So I've been Grubhubbing and DoorDashing for several months, trying to run a business that I started last year that hasn't been doing very great. Um, and so I got my real estate license to try to, you know, cause I'm not trying to grub up forever. I have a baby coming in a few months too. And so, you know, obviously that wasn't sustainable. So anyways, um, this first week being a real estate agent, I was like kind of going with my mentor everywhere, doing showings and, um, you know, going on an, an inspection appointment and just doing everything I could. And it was getting in the way for me dr um, driving, like, you know, my lunch shifts and my dinner shifts. And so I went from making, you know, anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars a week to like barely making three hundred or four hundred dollars um, because I was just trying to do both my regular job and my real estate career. And I realized um, that I had to change some things around. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier this week. And it was, you know, and like Wednesday or whatever, when I was like, oh, I made some decisions, you know. And another thing is, is getting your real estate license isn't cheap. You know, I have a couple of credit cards that are almost maxed out because um, I ended up having to put like all these fees on there and, you know, take my test and pay like hundreds of dollars to be a part of a realtor association, pay like your beginning class to sign up for a brokerage and all that stuff. So it's not cheap. And it's just like, I just feel like I... The only thing that makes me money right the second is driving and delivering people Taco Bell over and over and over again for $8, $10 orders. Um, but at the same time, I'm trying to build this business. So I've definitely been feel, feeling pretty torn, you know, and I realized I just have to prioritize making my money because I need to pay down my credit cards, make sure I'm getting my normal bills paid. Um, so that way I can in turn invest in this business. I want to get Mojo, which is a triple line dialer that I actually used to use for my own business, but it'll help me with some circle prospecting and there's just other things that I want to invest in in this business but I'm at no position I'm in no position to invest those type of things because I'm just filled to the top with like you know I've already I've just maxed out everything to where I need to get myself in a better financial situation so the reason I'm sad is because for Grubhub they offered like this do 20 deliveries it's sunday do 20 deliveries and you'll get a 60 dollar bonus y'all i've been busting my booty i've been out there since 10 a.m and that's not that early but i started at 10 a.m um i had to take a couple hours break in the middle because i was on a zoom call with my sponsor for exp because i good thing which i'll tell you about in a second is i have my very first listing appointment tomorrow which i'm super excited about but i obviously have a lot of questions so I literally pulled over on the side of the road I brought my laptop with me and had my um hotspot up I bought like this thing that attaches to my um to my uh steering wheel so I can have my laptop in my car and she's like oh you're in the car you gotta go and I'm like no I just pulled over on the side of the road to like do the zoom call and we we're on the call for like an hour and a half 
her telling me what things I need to do and like some strategies or whatnot to have for this listing appointment. It's a for sale by owner. Um, and just, and I've just been so exhausted this week from going, going, going that I let myself sleep in a little bit this morning. So that's the reason I started driving at 10 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. And it's now like nine, almost 10 o'clock. I had to complete the 20 deliveries by 11, 15 p.m. to get the $60 bonus. And I'm literally at 16 deliveries. And it's just so frustrating because it's just, I know there's no way in heck I can get the last four done before 11, 15. So I just started crying because I was like, oh, if I should have, I should have not have slept in. I should have woken up earlier. And, um, I know I needed to take that phone call today, so that's fine. But it's just, I was really beating myself up for like not making the bonus. Like I've just been working so hard and I, and it's just so close, but I'm not going to make it. And so, um, I just started crying. I went to McDonald's and I got freaking McDonald's. I got like a freaking milkshake. <laughs> I haven't had a milkshake in forever. I haven't had McDonald's in forever. But um, I just went there hoping I'd pick, get an order and I did it. And I just decided to go in there. And yeah, it's just tough. I've been crying. I mean, it might be weak hormones from pregnancy. But I just wanted you guys to realize that it is it is tough. But at the same time, I trust in the Lord Jesus Christ that he is going to bless me in this. Um, another decision I made this week is, um, I've always grown up Christian, but since I met my husband a couple years ago, I've converted to, um, Seventh-day Adventism. Um, so I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, which is where we observe the Sabbath, which is from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday. And you typically, you don't, you don't work, you know, six, six days thou shall labor and on the seventh day you shall rest. So I've been struggling with that personally as well. Like, okay. Because the last time I had a job job was almost actually a year ago. My anniversary of quitting my bank job was yesterday, August 21st. So um, I quit that job because I did my first wholesale deal and my husband and I started our business and it was really great. We made like $50,000 in four months. So we did like four deals and then it uh, came to a screeching halt in January and blase, 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 here we are now. But anyways, it was like one year ago today almost that I quit my banking job. But when I was at the bank, I didn't have... Um, I wasn't Seventh Day Adventist yet, so I, you know, didn't miss, and his, you don't work on Saturdays on a bank. So, anyways, this is my first time having a career where I'm like actually having to decide, like, okay, so time to put my money where my mouth is. Am I really gonna like observe the Sabbath? You know, as a real estate agent, a lot of things happen on Saturdays, open houses, showings, everything. It's a very busy day, and I didn't know how to. I just, I was just like, well, maybe someday in a year or two or more, like whenever I'm really running this business good, I can have other people do things for me and I, and then I will be able to list, you know, observe the Sabbath. But right now I just got to do what I got to do and I got to work and um, do what I got to do on Sabbath. But I don't know. I just realized that, you know, by me deciding to work on the Sabbath on Saturdays, that would be like me specifically telling the Lord, hey, God, you know, I, I always say I trust you and I trust you to bless me and I trust you to um, take care of me. But and I also know that you say that, uh, you know, it's not by my own works, but by you, by your grace, that things are going to happen. I'm just going to not believe that for now. And I'm going to work on Saturdays. I'm going to take things into my own hands and I'm going to go against what I believe and what you tell me to do just because that's what's best for me. And I know that that's not true. You know, personally, I know that putting my trust and faith in God has opened doors beyond my imagination and that anytime I try to take things into my own hands in my life, I end up just working myself into a crazy tired, like it just, it just doesn't work. So I made the decision my first week of real estate that I'm going to observe the Sabbath and, um, not work. So it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> and I, but I know that I'll be able to figure out ways, you know, you can have somebody else do a showing for you. If you need to do an open house, you can do it on Sunday or Friday, or, you know, have somebody else help open up, open this house. I was at host an open house for you. So there's ways around it. So, um, I'm just choosing to trust in God. And even though it sounds, even though it doesn't, you know, it's hard for my understanding to be like, how can this help me? I trust in the Lord. And if this is what he would have me do, then this is what I'm going to do. So just very, it's just been a very emotional week. Um, it's been very stressful, but it's been you stress. So just like there's euphoria and dysphoria, euphoria is good, dysphoria is bad. 
Um, there's um, distress, which is bad stress, and youth stress, which is good stress, which is like, you know, exercising or pushing yourself to get better at something. So it's been a lot of good stress, but um, it's not easy. You know, you're going to have to make sacrifices. If you don't have a lot of savings, you're going to have to figure out how to run your business and um, make money. If you want to do real estate part-time and you have a like a regular job, it's going to be really hard. It's really hard to do real estate part-time. But if you have to do it, you can. And if you are determined and you believe in yourself and you believe that this is the career that you should be in, then you are going to make it happen. And, you know, I, I don't know how atheists do it, <laughs> but if you have God and you're a Christian or you believe in God or you believe in your higher power, put a lot of faith and trust in that because that's going to be something else that helps you get through. And it's definitely something that's going to help me get through. So, um... Grubhub's telling me I have an offer, but at this point, it's literally 10 o'clock and I only have an hour. There's no way I'd be able to do four. So it doesn't matter. You know, I made like $150 today driving around out there. It would be nice to have a $60 bonus on top of that, but I'm just not going to stress anymore. I'm just going to let it go. And I should go eat my McDonald's before it gets cold because, uh, yeah, McDonald's cold is not good, especially the fries. Ugh. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here, guys, and let you guys know. Um, but just to summarize the week, it does feel amazing being a real estate agent, especially with EXP, especially doing the mentorship program. My mentor got me in it quick. Like, I have my first buyer client that she referred to me. I've done um, open houses and showings, and I've shadowed. I've... Uh, I've done showings for other people's clients just to try, you know, learn about it. I literally have a listing appointment tomorrow, which is super awesome. My husband was calling a for sale by owner for the investment business. And you could tell that the guy just would probably be better off listing with an agent. So I called him and um, set up an appointment for tomorrow. I'm really excited. Um, it'll be my first one. And I'm really hoping, you know, he talked about like maybe me listing his house for him and helping him find a house. So this would be like a buyer representation agreement and a listing agreement. And, um, you know, how amazing that I had my first buyer client already in my first week and I might have my second client here pretty soon as well. So um, you can just see right there that the Lord is taking care of me, you know? And uh, so I just got to continue to trust in him. I got to continue to, um, or I need to work on time blocking myself and sticking to my commitments that I need to do, do the things that get me cash, like driving, <laughs> driving my job. Um, and then just trusting that in the time that I have outside of that, I will be able to still make um, um, make things happen for this new business and career that I'm starting as well. So um, if just, just don't believe that it's not all glamorous, it's not all, oh, look at me in my office at Keller Williams or wherever, you know, you see these other, trust me, I watched a lot of a day in the life of a real estate agent or um, first week as a real estate agent. And it just seems so, not necessarily glamorous, but like, oh, that's so cool. It is cool. And it's great. Trust me. It's been one of the best weeks I've had in a long time you know, but at the same time, it's real and you have to put in the work and you have to make your money some other way because you ain't making money with this just yet. No, in fact, you're spending money, um, a lot of it. So just know that you're going to have to go through real life things. But if this, I'm going to say it one more time and then sign off. If this is what you want to do and you believe in yourself and you know, you're going to be a rock star in this industry, then you'll do whatever it takes to do it. And the, the, if you really are love what you're going after and you love your career and you're determined to get there, then these bumps that would maybe knock you off of some other career path that you're not that interested in won't, you'll be like, okay, get up, scrape money and get up. Here I go. Standing up again. I get knocked down. I'm getting up. I get knocked down. I'm getting up. My baby's making me cry about everything. That's okay. I'm a, I'm back right at it, you know? And you know, something cute today is I got my business cards yesterday, actually. So let me show you. It's probably backwards. But Takoya Thompson with eXp Realty. Homebytakoya.com. So look, guys, I'm getting official. I'm official. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was official before, before this, but now I can actually hand my card out whenever I see people and talk about it. So I'm really excited about that. So all in all, it's been a great first week as a real estate agent. I don't regret it at all. Um, it's been had its, has had its ups and it's had its downs and, um, I'm just really excited for this career. No matter what, no, even everything I've said, I'm still really excited about it. And I am 
really hopeful that if you are doing this that you are gonna have a really great time as well and that you'll dust yourself off if some tribulations come but if you have any questions about this industry if you have any questions um, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about exp definitely reach out to me i would love to tell you about it and like i said i'm right in it learning how it is as a brand new agent so if that sounds like you then definitely message me because i know all about it and i'd love to tell you more but let me go eat my food thank you for being with me all week i really hope <laughs> i haven't edited this video i hope i put it all together and it doesn't jump around too too much but just know i definitely plan to youtube for you guys and just bear with me i will get better at vlogging and i will get better at making sure i can record more things for you so stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right bye and just in case you're wondering my tattoo says faith gotta have faith eh, eh. all right <laughs>